uh, welcome to this channel IBM classes uh, in this video session I'll be discussing about uh, how we can add records or how we can populate a member in particular file uh, we can say that how we can add the records in a multi member file suppose I want to add the records or I want to populate a member or the second or third mem member in a multi member file so how can I achieve that using SQL so first I'll be creating a file in which I am setting the max member parameter as star no max where I can add maximum number of members that is 3267 now I'll what I'll do I'll use the add pfm command to add a member in file 1 and be a member 2 member 3 so I can see data in all these members present in file one file one MBR2 there, there is no data at all these members MBR3 sure I have added two members manually here member 2 and member 3 and one was the default member that is file 1 which is same as um, the name of the file because I have not provided the name of member at the, creation, at the time of creation of that file using create pf but I have set the max member parameter as star no max so that I would be able to add uh, multiple members in my file and then that file becomes multi member file so now I will be able to insert into file 1 so we are we have option to insert the records in file 1 but there is no option to insert the record in member so if I'll be inserting say ID1 name 1 address 1 1 in file 1 ID2 name 2 address 2 in file 2 and then we are checking from here using DSPPFM on file 1 so we can see that on the first member that is file 1 default member we have data to we have two records present on the second member member 2 we do not have any records right now because we did not have inserted any records on member 3 we did not have any records now how can I insert the data using SQL in the members member 2 and member 3 now I'll be creating first of all I'll be creating the alias create alias which is a temporary name or you can say temporary table um, for that particular file or member which I'm gonna use so I'm creating the alias here I took f4 on that create alias suppose el1 is the alias name in library suppose I'm creating that in qtemp now the file name would be file1 library would be my classes class1 sure now I uh, I just want to give the first number suppose take a four here this I want to add the records in file one so I have created an alias in qtemp just check work object qtemp 
slash al1 yes we have that object which is of a star file and attribute will be ddmf now just check dstfd for this one you can see that this is file 1 al1 cube temp type of file would be device ddm type this is the file level identifier remote file would be this so it is using this file and the remote location would be star local type star SN because this is the look this is on the local system sure so it will be using so create alias will be based on that file 1 member file 1 present in IBM I class 1 library sure Now I will be inserting the records Now one way was that that I can directly insert into that file 1 so it will be automatically inserted in the first number that is file 1 Now I will be inserting it in QTEM slash al1 id3 name 3 address 3 now file 1 member file 1 will be having 3 records now just check with dsp pfm so we can see that we have 3 records in member file 1 now we can drop that or we can leave that right now means we can drop that alias drop alias q temp slash al1 so that drop has been that alias has been dropped q temp slash al1 yes there's no object at all now check this PPFM again so we have three records so using alias I can insert the record in my physical file member which is having multiple member sure now suppose I want to insert the record so I am creating an alias AL2 say on file 1 and member would be member 2 Sure, alias l2 has been created now I am inserting record insert into qtem slash al2 a b c so the records has been inserted now I will be dropping that alias drop alias qtem slash l1 oh, l1 has already been dropped l2 now i'll be checking dsp pfm for member 1 sorry 2 sure so we can see that one record has been inserted in member 2 using sql create alias method sure the same way we can insert the data in Number three, so we have created alias l2 based on number three in file one. Now insert the records D D D. Then again insert record E E. E. So we have inserted two records. Now I'm dropping that alias. Drop alias qtem slash al2. Now 
check number three so we can see that we have inserted two records using a SQL method into our member three which is present in file one so we have seen that we have member two as well so it has this much record number star first we can use or file one we can use this has this record so we can uh, we have seen uh, the demo that how we can insert the records in uh, member uh, uh, a multi-member file or you can say that the members of uh, the multiple members in a physical file are using SQL create alias method so this is all in this video thank you and have a nice time